Okay, hello. Uh, this will be a tutorial for Glass Man races in Mega Man Battle Network 6, Cybeast, Gregar, or Falzar. Uh, the versions are the same for this race anyways. Uh, generally, a Blast Man race is pretty quick, lasting less than 13 minutes usually. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started here. Your timer starts right as soon as you press New Game, so right now. Now right at the beginning, you're going to want to start pressing Select to skip the opening cutscenes. And we put into Lan's room. So immediately you're just going to want to go down, and you're going to want to talk to Mom, and go back and talk to Dad. Now we can leave the house, and basically when we're outside, we just need to talk to everybody. So we're going to talk to them in this order because it's the fastest. So that man with the overcoat, then this kid here, then this kid here, and then that old man. Basically all these guys are telling you are, are plot things or little in-game tips. So now we're going to head off to this plaza and activate this cutscene. You cannot skip this cutscene, so don't even bother trying to press select. You're just going to have to skip the text boxes by pressing A or B. Okay, when you get to this screen, you just uh, press A or B once, and then press R. If you continue to spam A or B uh, after that text box goes away, you'll just get more text boxes and it will just waste time. So immediately after we jack in there, we're going to want to pre start pressing select just to immediately get into these tutorial battles. Now Lan will talk for a little while about how battles work, basically. Okay, so as you can see there, I selected the cannon. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to want to press A to select that cannon. You go through a couple more text boxes, and you go over twice and select this cannon. You'll do a couple more text boxes. You press Start to move your cursor to OK. And you just click uh, uh, um, the A button there. Talk for a few more text boxes. This battle is pretty straightforward. Basically, we're just going to go to this bottom row, shoot one, and then move up one and shoot one. And then you use your chips with A. So, it's pretty quick. Immediately after that battle, you're going to want to be pressing select to immediately get into this battle. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing a little different. We're going to be grabbing an area grab and a wide sword. And we're going to start the battle. Basically, immediately in this battle, you're just going to want to place, place your area grab. Move to your front row, or column, and sh use your wide sword. Now you're just going to want to finish off this metar with your charge shots. Now that, if you fire a charge shot premature, prematurely like that, you'll waste a little bit of time. Once again, spam select getting out of the, that tutorial battle. Uh, now this one we actually get to choose our chips. Uh, there are two, about, there are like two different strats for this battle. They both do about the same speed. So it's kind of just preference which one you choose. Uh, you can either grab the Vulcan and one air shot or the Vulcan and two air shots. I only grab one air shot. So I move down here, you wait to get the counter hit, and then you go up and shoot him, like that. The other strategy for that one is you go down, you hit him with the Vulcan, ignoring, not waiting to get a counter shot, and then you just go up one and hit the Metar with two air shots instead of one. So once we do that, we skip these text boxes, and once those text boxes are skipped, we start spamming select to skip two cutscenes. Okay, now we're just going to head on down and talk to this lady and you'll get an email. You have to press start, open the email, and read it. You only have to read the second email, you don't have to read the first one. And then after we've done that, we just go inside and we're going to jack in to Lance PC. With R, by the way, you jack in with R. Okay, so once we're in, basically in center one, you should get one encounter. Uh, to move on, you need to get a reflector one chip in the central one. So, uh, most of the time you'll get a Reflector 1 chip. Um, sometimes though, you can either get Zenny or a Mach Gun, depending. But for the most part, you should be getting... Uh, you should be getting Reflector 1s. So, immediately here, um, the key to this whole race will be counter-hitting everything. Because once you get a counter-hit, you get full synchro. And when you're in full synchro, your chips do double damage. So, uh, the key will be ending every battle in full synchro. So as you can see there, I ended it with full synchro. 
and we got a reflector chip. So if you were to get Zenny or a Mot Gun there, you would have to run around until you got a second encounter to try and get a reflector, because you need a reflector to move on here. Once we get to Central 2, we need to talk to everyone except for the shopkeeper. Uh, you will generally get one battle in Central 2. Um, yep, so here I'm going to show off how to counter hit uh, Cannon Guy here. So uh, generally also in Central 2 you'll only get one encounter, so I don't have to worry about ending this battle in full synchro, but I'm going to anyways just to show you how to counter hit this guy. So to counter hit this guy, that's how you do it. So you step down, you wait for him to target you so his reticle turns red. You immediately step back and fire your chip as fast as possible. I don't remember if I talked to this guy or not. Okay, so... Okay, so I got two battles, which is extremely unlucky. Um, normally you only get one battle in Central 2, but yeah, it happens. terrible fight, by the way. I should ignore that fight completely. You, for the most part, will never have two battles. It can happen, but it's very rare. So after we talk to that third guy, just start pressing select to skip the cutscene. And now we are going to jack out. Then once we jack out, we go to bed, say no to saving, and then we're going to press select to skip these cutscenes. Now we're going to head off to school. In Blastman races, you will not have to worry about <coughs> any chips or zennies, because you will never be editing your folder or buying anything. <coughs> In fact, you shouldn't be picking up any Mystery Davis at all. So immediately, as you saw, once we enter the school, we're going to go off to the left and go around here to talk to Mr. Mock to get our student ID. Now we're going to head off to our classroom. Now, this is your classroom. If you try and enter through this back door here, it won't let you. So don't try and enter through the back door, just go through the front door. Once you go through the front door, just start spamming select as soon as you get through. Now you need to talk to everybody in the room. Now be careful when you're talking to people, because what can happen here is you can accidentally talk to the desk and not realize that you didn't talk to the student. So pay careful attention and make sure that you talk to the student and not the desk by accident. You can also accidentally talk to that pedestal sometimes. Once you've talked to everybody, start spamming select to skip that cutscene. And now we're going to get into this old stove fight. Uh, in general, this old stove fight does not go very well, but I'll explain it here. So, how this fight works is when Mega Man here steps into his back column, the old stoves will try to go into their front column to attack you. So this is useful to know in case you want to hit them with something like a sword where they need to be in the front row. Just step in the back column and then they'll try and make it to the first row here to attack you so you can hit them with a sword. To counter hit these guys, it's kind of different from the other viruses because ordinarily you try and hit them right before they attack, but with these guys uh, you need to hit them right as soon as the panels start flashing yellow, indicating where they're going to attack. So I'll show that off here. So I'll grab a couple crack shots. Also, one thing to note, if you just go to this back panel here and stand, uh, you're not going to be able to get a counter hit on this guy with the sword because, I'll show you, this guy here, he will um, try and move to the front, but he's not going to be able to because this guy will be in the way. So he'll attack you and you're not going to be able to get a counter hit on this guy. So make sure if you're trying to get a counter hit on a sword, you're going like this. 
going up and down to make sure that they end up in different rows. So as you saw there, I was able to get that, that counter hit on him by attacking him immediately after he start, started making these panels flash yellow, indicating where he was going to attack. Basically that fight just finished him off as fast as possible. If you have a wide sword, you're able to, uh, you can just uh, go to your back row, or back column, and go up and down to get them both in the front row, and you can hit them both with one hit with a wide sword. So that would be pretty optimal. But you're definitely not always going to be getting a wide sword. Anyways, moving on. After that battle, you're going to want to start pressing select to skip that cutscene, and then you're going to want to jack out. Now, after you jack out, continue to press select to skip this cutscene here. And now you're going to be Mega Man, and you need to talk to everyone in the room. Uh, so, yep. Everyone in the room again. This is where you can also accidentally talk to the desk. Remember at the beginning to talk to Mr. Mock and Lan, because you do need to talk to them. Okay, once you talk to the last person, start pressing select again to skip the cutscene. Now it's all fiery and scary, uh, but you're just going to go up to this copy bot and select yes. Now we're going to run down with Mega Man and get the bucket. So you just go there and you talk to this guy with the bucket on his head and take the bucket and now you can go back into your room. This time you can go through the back door. Once you get into the room, start pressing select to skip the cutscene. And now we're going to go talk to Mr. Mach here, who's fallen on the ground, and get his teacher ID. Now we can head back onto the teacher's lounge. Okay. Once you get to the end of the narrow hallway in the teacher's lounge, start pressing select to skip the cutscene. And you'll get the jack in. Uh, continue to press select after you jack in because you'll get another cutscene. And even after that, you walk forward a couple steps and you'll get a third cutscene. So make sure you skip all those. So in this area, uh, there will be fire that comes down. You can see which way the flares are kind of coming in to tell which way those big fireballs will come in. So basically, uh, the way the fire comes in is semi-random. Uh, and by that, I mean... When you walk over some places, there are triggers to make the fire go, and but other times the fire will just go randomly, depending on how long you've been walking and stuff. Uh, also, the direction of the fire will always be random. So basically, standing behind one of these cubes to avoid damage is almost always slower. There are only a few cases where it's actually faster, and that's only if the fire is going in the correct direction. So for the most part, you're just going to take the hit from the fire. So like there, it's slower to wait. So you go and talk to the, the pro, Mr. Program that's on fire, press select during it so you can skip the cutscene. Now we're going to head off to the left here. And here's our first virus battle. Okay, so now we have a new virus that are champies. Uh, to counter hit them, it varies by uh, what chip. Basically, for air shots and crack shots, what you're going to do is, when, once you get in this column, just um, immediately step backwards one and fire your air shot or crack shot, and that will counter hit the champy. With a sword or a cannon, what you have to do is you have to step down, and you have to wait for like a set amount of time and then fire it from the panel, from the panel that you're on. You don't step back at all. Um, I can't always get it, but I will attempt to get this counter hit with this sword here. No, I was too late. So instead I just got hit. But I can show you how to counter hit him with this air shot here, so... Like that. I just stepped down, immediately stepped back, and did my fire shot. Okay, so now we're, I'm going to want to counter hit this mock gun here. Just like last time, and then I'll try and counter hit with the cannon here. Okay, there we go. So as you saw, I just waited for a little teeny bit, and then press A to counter hit him with that cannon. Okay, so more fire. 
basically you're gonna uh, also talk to that Mr. Program and skip that cutscene. But uh, basically, you're not gonna be running from any battles because full synchro is just so powerful that it's almost always faster to try and fight them. So here's an example where stopping would be slower. Cause see how long I had to wait there? If I hadn't waited, I'd be much farther ahead. So if that happens, don't stop there. Okay. I can try and get in the- eh, I'll just take too many bombs. Okay, I'll try and counter hit this guy with a sword again. Okay, I still didn't get it. My timing's a little off. Okay, so generally in this Robot Control Comp 1, you'll only get one encounter. Or two encounters, sorry. You'll get two encounters. Most of the time. So after you go here, start spamming Slick to skip this cutscene. Now we need to talk to make three times. So that's one, that's two, and this is the third time. After you talk to him for the third time, you go over here, press A on this flashing yellow computer, and start pressing Slick to skip two cutscenes. Okay, so now we're Mega Man again, and we have to finish up Robot Control Comp 2. So first thing we're going to do is go down here, and talk to this Mr. Program, and skip this cutscene. So as you can see, I'm just letting the fire hit me most of the time, because most of the time it's just slower to uh, try and avoid it. Again, I ended that battle in a counter hit. Also keep in mind that the fire cannot kill you. So as you can see, I have 10 health. Normally they do 10 health, I just go to one. Now if the fire activates again, I won't take any damage from it. So, as you can see there, don't take any damage. Ordinarily at this spot, you can talk to this, uh, this Mr. Program before that fire activates though. And then you can just skip that fire completely. Now, if that fire were to be going this way, uh, waiting by, or if it were to be going down, actually, waiting right here would actually be faster than taking the hit. That'd be one place where it would be faster, but it's, it's very rare occasions, as I was saying. So that's the last robot, or Mr. Program guy that we have to extinguish. Vulcan is another one where you set down, immediately step back and fire to get the counter hit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get one more encounter or not. That's why I ended that with a full synchro. I might not get another encounter though. Okay, I, I didn't. So I didn't need to end that last battle in full synchro. Okay, immediately press select to get right into the Blast Man battle. Okay. Blast Man. He is pretty easy. Uh, in general, you shouldn't be getting hit from him at all. Uh, he has three different attacks, and I'll just kind of wait around and uh, until he does his three attacks to show you first what he can do before I even do anything to him. So he will always move three times, and then on the fourth movement, he will use an attack. So that's his first attack, where he like throws kind of a bomb thing that just goes across uh, one row. That's the same one. Okay. This attack. When he does this attack, as you can see, you have to stand behind this block to avoid taking damage. Um, 
I believe Blast Man will always go to his back column when he does this attack. But if he stands either here or here, you can hit him with a chip that activates his invincibility frames to cancel his attack. Or you can counter hit him, but that's kind of hard with this attack. But if he stands here or here, you can try and uh, hit him with uh, some chips and take, make him take damage to cancel that attack. Because this attack definitely takes the longest out of all of them. So, uh, like he is here, if he's just standing right here and he does this attack, there's not much you can do, you just have to wait it out. Because even if you throw a mini bomb and hit him, it won't activate his invincibility frame, so he'll still do, still do the attack anyways. Okay, this is his third attack. Basically, it just hits three panels, in, or three, three, uh, yeah, three panels in the row in front of him. Okay, so now actually getting to defeating Blast Man. Basically, what you're gonna do is generally you're gonna charge a shot. You're gonna hit him with your charge shot on your third movement, and then you're gonna attack him with the chip on his fourth movement when he's gonna attack, and you're gonna try and counter hit him with that attack. So when you get a counter hit, you get full synchro, and when you get full synchro, your next chip does double damage. So if I can show it off here, one, two, that's his third movement, so I hit him with that, and now I get a counter hit on him with that, and now that chip does double damage. Generally, you're going to want to set it up so that your second chip that you use full synchro with is a high power chip, so something like a sword or a crack shot are really good. So like right here. I'm going to take an air shot and a sword, that way I can set up my my um, counter hit with my air shot, and then I can do double damage with a sword. So that's his first, second, third movement, okay, first, okay, second, I should have hit him with that sword when he was in the front row by the way. Okay, so he's in the front row, hit him with that sword, it does double damage, it does 160 damage for that sword, which is really good. So now I'm just going to try and finish him off here. Okay. And it, the uh, race ends on this fading out screen right there. And that is Blast Man in a nutshell. I uh, hope this video was informative. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment. Uh, thank you and goodbye.